Now, if this movie sucked, this is how I would act. <laughs> what? I'm just really excited. Hey guys, Mr. Google, the Countdown Gods here to review. No! Get away! I thought I burned your ass months ago. Go! Battle Los Angeles. Directed by John Liebsman, starring Aaron Eckhart, Michelle Rodriguez, who's the queen of badassery, Neo, for some reason, and Michael Pena. Now, I was really looking forward to Battle Los Angeles. Like, I mean, everybody was, but apparently, it's the biggest disappointment of the year so far, says every critic ever. But I actually loved Battle Los Angeles. I mean, it's not really that much of a surprise. I mean, I, I, I loved it. Now, basically, I I was, you know, growing a little iffy about the movie. You know why? Because I had Skyline on my mind. I hated Skyline. If you saw my review on the Unknown Underdogs months ago, now it's deleted. Because, oh, I hated that movie with a passion. It's the, probably the worst movie I've seen in my life. I am not exaggerating. I... I, I thought that's like a shame to the sci-fi genre, but it, and this, it's a very, very, very similar plot, just the only difference is that it just follows an army, it just involves army soldiers, and it, th that's just pretty much the plot. But here's the thing, it's actually fun, entertaining, well-directed, yes, I said well-directed, well-acted, and the visuals were so awe-inspiring. The aliens in this movie, right away, Oh my god, worth the wait! Why'd I take that off? That's better! The aliens in this movie are just freaking amazing. I mean, they're, I think they're like aliens in, in robotic armor, and it's awesome, and they have these awesome guns that... This is the definition of a popcorn blockbuster movie, and I actually ate popcorn during it. I don't usually eat popcorn during movies, because it's overpriced! Now, the acting in this movie... Uh, well, why'd I, why'd I do that? I mean, it's not that... Well, Aaron Eckhart gives, in my opinion, an Oscar-caliber performance. I thought he was amazing in this movie. Every line of dialogue he, uh, he spat out, I thought he was great. I thought uh, this is the best performance I've seen him give so far. I didn't see Rabbit Hole, sorry. But I did like his performance in this better than The Dark Knight. But The Dark Knight's a way better movie, don't get me wrong. The rest of the performances are all, you know, they're not bad, but they're just pretty good. I mean, they do, they get the job done. The main problem in this movie, though, the character development. I wanted to know more about these characters. The char the character development in this movie reminds me of Takers. Like, they're, like the characters in Takers and the characters in Battle Los Angeles, they're all likable, but they have the same exact problem. They, they, we know, like, one thing about them, and that's it. And that for me, that's, like, a big problem with it. Because Michelle Rodriguez is basically the Zoe Saldana in this movie. We don't know why she's in this movie at all. There's no explanation at all. The other black guy besides Neo is like the Michael Eli of the movie. He has like one thing you know about him and that's it. And Neo is pretty much the T.I. of this movie who's getting married. And that's the only thing we know. And Michael Pena has a son. And he probably had the most depth of a character in the movie. But I don't know. This is probably a weak performance by Michael Pena in my opinion. I mean, he, he was given barely any dialogue. But probably the biggest problem I had, nobody has actually said it yet. There was, like, no reason the, the aliens should have should have came on Earth. I mean, there was no explanation why they were on Earth. Like, one of the uh, scientific geniuses in the TV on uh, Battle Los Angeles uh, were like, well, obviously they're here for our resources. What resources? Corn dogs and video games? I mean, I want to know this stuff. I mean, in Skyline, I mean, there was a reason. I, I, it was a dumb reason why did I bleep myself out it was a dumb fucking reason that they were here it was because of brains I mean that's the most idiotic thing but at least they had a reason I mean they could have came up with anything better than brains I love the direction in this movie I thought the direction was awesome I mean I thought the movie had great suspense to it and if the movie wasn't directed the way it was I, I wouldn't have got on on the edge of my seat because I'm usually not on my on the edge of my seat 
but in this movie, I was on the edge of my seat so many times. The score is pretty good. I was disappointed they didn't use the music from the trailers, but still, good music. Um, the visuals, groundbreaking visuals, I think. Oh my god, the, the visuals. Oh my, was I dreaming? Oh my god, one of my friends had to slap me, because I, after I saw this movie, I'm like, am I dreaming? Oh my god, this, that was awesome. Uh, yeah, the writing, the dialogue, ee, the dialogue sometimes after thinking about it, and, ah, it's bad. I'm a veterinarian. <laughs> was that supposed to be serious? <laughs> like, I don't think it was, but come on. I mean, overall, I had a great time with Battle Los Angeles. Should you see it if action movie fan? Of course you should. I mean, there's more explosions in this movie that make Michael Bay look like an amateur filmmaker. Overall, I'm going to give Battle Los Angeles a 9 out of 10. I am as surprised as you. I am really, really, really happy with this movie, and I'll be back for my review of Paul and Mr. Google, and I'm out.